Last year's Nokia 6 was HMD Global's first foray into the Android smartphone world. Its successor, the Nokia 6 2018, has now arrived in India. It is an Android One smartphone that improves upon its predecessor in a few key areas, such as the processor, design, and cameras. The thing is, the fifteen thousand rupee segment is extremely crowded, especially with the likes of the Xiaomi Redmi Note Five Pro. Can the Nokia Six Twenty Eighteen compete? Let's find out. Just like last year's model, the Nokia Six Twenty Eighteen is made from a single block of Series Six Thousand aluminium and feels incredibly solid in the hand. The copper accents around the rear camera and the frame add design flair. to what is otherwise an understated industrial design at 8.5 mm this smartphone is not the slimmest out there the thick borders above and below the screen do not help make this phone seem any less bulky the power and volume buttons are easy to reach the usb type c port is nice to have but the tray on the right unfortunately forces you to choose between a second sim and a micro sd card the fingerprint sensor is slow and irresponsive at times it is also quite difficult to reach We found ourselves touching the LED flash when we were reaching for the sensor on more than one occasion. The Nokia 6 2018 also has face recognition built in. While face unlock works well when lighting conditions are favorable, it struggles in dimly lit environments and in direct sunlight. The 5.5 inch LCD screen reproduces colors well and is legible even under direct sunlight. The viewing angles though are a bit of a letdown. We were a little disappointed to see only a single loudspeaker at the bottom. Last year's Nokia 6 in comparison had stereo speakers. The quality of sound is average and it is easy to block it with your palm when you are using the phone horizontally. The bundled earphones are strictly average as well and we recommend an upgrade if you are going to use this phone to listen to music. On the inside there's a fairly powerful Snapdragon 630 processor. There is only one variant with 3GB of RAM and 32GB of internal storage which is priced at rupees 16999. The onboard storage can be expanded using a micro SD card. Thanks to the powerful internals and the stock build of Android, day-to-day -day performance is great. The phone also handles heavy games like Asphalt 8 without any dropped frames or stutters. We are pleased to report that the Nokia 6 does not get very hot even while playing resource-intensive games. In our experience, call quality was excellent. Calls were clear and crisp and 4G connectivity was good even in areas known to have spotty network reception. Being an Android one smartphone, the Nokia 6 runs on a completely stock build of Android 8.0 Oreo with no preloaded third party apps. There are a few Nokia additions on board though, like glance screen which displays notifications for missed calls, alarms and unread mails and messages on the lock screen. HMD Global has promised that the Nokia 6 2018 will be updated to Android P this year as well as Android Q in 2019. Before we continue, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to be notified when we have new videos for you. HMD Global has used Zeiss Optics for the Nokia 6 2018's rear camera, but sadly, this does not help low light performance. Shots taken by the 16 megapixel rear camera in low light have a fair bit of noise and lack detail. Autofocus also struggles in unfavorable lighting conditions. That said, in adequate light, the camera performs quite well. It manages to get the exposure right most of the time and captures a lot of detail. Color reproduction, however, is not the phone's strong suit. In auto mode, colors look slightly pale and muted. Thankfully, the camera application has a powerful professional mode which allows you to tweak the settings and get accurate colors. We hope Nokia can improve the auto mode via a software upgrade. The 8 megapixel front camera performs well when the lighting conditions are good and is actually a cut above the front camera found on last year's Nokia 6. Image quality does take a dive though when the light goes down and there is no front flash. The Nokia 6 2018 allows you to take photos or videos from the front and rear cameras at the same time. Regrettable marketing name aside, bothy mode is actually a pretty useful feature. Unfortunately, the quality of shots taken with both the front and rear cameras takes a slight dip in this mode. Battery life is very good. With regular use, we managed to get about a day and a half on a single charge. Fast charging allows for a 40% charge in 30 minutes. The Nokia 6 2018 is a great no-nonsense smartphone with great build quality, the purest form of Android, good battery life and solid performance. Its cameras though are a bit weak. 
and those looking for a bezel-less design should stick to the Redmi Note 5 Pro. So that was our review of the Nokia 6 2018. Thanks for watching and for all things tech, log on to gadgets360.com.